So let's talk about the ChatGPT4 subscription price and if it's worth the money or just overall buying. So right from the bat, let's take a look at the price. And if you go to my account, you might not have it there, but I already have it since I'm on it. But ChatGPT Plus is what you're going to need to get in order to unlock ChatGPT4. As you can see, it's going to be $20 per month. With that, you get a few models with it. So it's available when demand is high. You get faster response speed and of course, priority access to new features. So keep that in mind is that not only when you have ChatGPT4, you do have the default and the legacy, like the 3.5 versions as well. So I've come up with a little chart on a, a notepad right here that I'm just going to pretty much explain to you the reasons why you might want to use ChatGPT4. So if you want be better reasoning, if you want better conciseness, in my opinion, if you want better results or output and even longer generation, and you don't mind paying the $20 per month, I mean, you don't have to keep using it forever. You can always use it for a month, stop, go back. That's really up to you. If you don't mind any of those things, then yeah, I think it's worth buying or just, you know, it's worth the money for you to get some better output. Because when you think of it, chat GPT-4 is pretty much just an upgrade. When you're paying for it, you're getting the upgrades that come along with it, which are all those bullet points that I just recently mentioned. So if any of those sound attractive to you or you're like, yeah, I really want the upgrades because of the, the conciseness, the better output and so on and so forth. And yeah, it's probably going to be worth your money. On the other hand, there is one big flaw so far. This is just at the time of creating this video, which I want to talk about or at least mention is that there's no image input yet. Give me one second and I'm going to go to the chat GPT for announcement. All right, so here was the announcement that they did in terms of the visual input. It can accept images as inputs and generate captions, classifications, and analyses. So for example, what can I make with these ingredients? And it would give you an output. At the time of this video, it doesn't have this. It's like it's just not working. It's not added in. I don't know what the thing is, but that's a, like a big no-go for a lot of people because I know I did a video talking about that and they said they want to wait at least till that's available or being able to use. So that's something to keep in mind if you're really interested at that, you know, look into the future also after this video because it probably will be available. I don't know when, but that's just something to keep in mind. And another reason why you might not want to use it, which isn't a big dislike, is the speed. Okay. So they've clearly increased the power of it when it comes to the reasoning and conciseness. But my goodness, is this thing slow? The good thing about that is that if you kind of upgrade to plus, you get four and 3.5, you could always use the default one, which is optimized for speed. But on the other hand, it doesn't have like the conciseness and the reasoning. So there's kind of a little bit of an annoyance to that. Usually when I create videos with chat GPT-4, and if I have something long being created, I will hit enter. I will walk around my house. I will do a couple things. I will come back. And many times it is still going depending on how long it's going to be. So that would be a reason why you might not want to upgrade because if... Uh, the speed is very important to you. You're not really getting it when it comes to chat GPT-4. It's all about power and it slows the speed down a little bit more. So that's something to keep in mind. So all in all, that's going to be this video when it comes to the subscription price of chat GPT-4, which is really plus, And then it comes along with four and 3.5. And of course, some of the reasons why it's going to be worth the money, why it's worth buying, or maybe why it's not. If you have any other questions, something that I might've missed, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. But that about does it. My name is James. I hope you get some value out of this video and I will see you in my next one.